uh, my research and the research of others shows that this way of doing business in the long term creates a lot more value for investors as well. So in firms of endearment, we found that those companies outperformed the S&P 500 by a 9 to 1 ratio over a 10-year period. Significant, I mean, dramatic even outperformance, right? So you create a lot more financial value by doing this. So some CEOs, if they are, in fact, purely motivated by superior financial performance, they might look at this and say, okay, that sounds like a good uh, strategy that we can use. I caution them, however. I said, if, that, if that's the only reason that you want to do this, it may not work. Because these tenets of conscious capitalism, they are pillars of fundamental belief. They are not tactics, right? So it's not saying, let me adopt a tactic of having a purpose. No, you really need to feel it. Take care of the people, and they'll take care of the business. Businesses are about people. And so to really form a movement that's focused on kind of restoring that and, and showing people that you care about them even first as people, and there is just such a great opportunity to get involved now to help grow this chapter, to, to you know, continue this movement. Um, this is a pretty special place, Indianapolis, and I think we inherently have some things in terms of values that will demonstrate that Indianapolis has some neat things that it's going to also bring to the overall international conscious capitalism movement. I can't wait for even Indianapolis and Indiana to have that kind of exposure with the other chapters.